this room, this small dungeon chamber altered the very course of history, twisting mankind removing the shroud to reveal the ugly side of human nature. Sunshine! Which set into motion the true events that would bring about darkness. Darkness, everybody! Da everyone! Darkness this is ready! is where the father of the abyss was born. It matters not which serpent unleashed Manus's wrath. Ultimately, the outcome would benefit neither. Manus' lust spewed forth darkness, further endangering the already fleeting Age of Fire, and his rage corrupted humans by driving their humanity wild with mutation, perverting the prophecy of the Dark Lord in the process. But before Manus was the harbinger of the Abyss, he was simply a man, a man who rested in peace. The sorcerers uprooted their ancestor, placing Manus deep within Ulysseel in the bowels of the dungeons. This would become a treacherous place Manus wishes he could wipe from his memory. The tortures he endured the here are unspeakable. Black, Torments black, of both a mental and physical black, nature. Darkness, Manus was assaulted, often to death, but a bonfire was created for Manus's cell, making it easy to continue torture immediately after his body had expired. And when his body could withstand no more, the attack on his mind would begin. Ulysseus' sorcerer's magic is manipulative and illusionary in place of combative. With most heinous trickery, the wicked chameleons created false images, twisting Manus's perception of reality, pushing his mind to the brink. Only torment can be found in these walls. With the pendant gone, something changed within the man. He resents his king, his humanity. And little by little, the foul people of Ulysseel were all turned as well. For Manus was a primeval human, and all parties were unaware of his great influence over humanity. Manus's influence, his pain was so powerful it was beginning to mark others around him. You know, it would seem help. evil breeds evil. His mind is primal, abstract. Only shapes that once resembled emotions remain. Rage and survival are all that matter, and escape is the route to both. Manus stands in front of the wall one last time and begins to slap the worn flesh of his fists against the grime-covered brick. The sound of cracking is apparent. Whether the sound's origin is bones or the brick is indistinguishable. That was until the wall crumbled in his mad fury, revealing an enormous cavern with a darkness below. Rick wants to go to the abyss. In fact, he dwells in the abyss. Rick James dwells in the abyss, okay, and he and he wants company. Sometimes, you know, and, and for some reason, he likes to reach out for me. Whenever I'm around, when he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try to take, take me to the abyss with him. He is went where it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You don't take this shit too far. And his response is like this. There's no such players. Darkness, let's go to the abyss, nigga. Charlie, there's a new joke going around. Have you heard it? What did the five fingers say to the face? <laughs> what? Stop! 